guys, Maccabee Speed coming at ya. Very excited to bring you a long awaited and never duplicated yet on YouTube episode. 3D printed projectiles, 72 caliber Zeus. I'm not gonna waste your time going through a whole bunch of hoopla getting this going. I'm just gonna get right into it today. These were generously donated to the channel by Mystic 2222. I can't wait to get into what they're capable of today. These things weigh in at 218 grains, and they're 729 on the diameter when I checked them with the caliper, so I do think that these are gonna be a nominal fit in the Zeus barrel. I don't know how fast they're gonna go, and I don't know if they'll be accurate. Do they even fit in the breech? Oh, they do. They're going to nose in. They're go it's going in there. It's seated in the breech without any mechanical coercion whatsoever. Closing the breech with what feels like a very loose tolerance. Uh, we'll see what happens. 4,500 PSI fill, 3D printed projectiles, 218 grain spikes, right side target, and fire. Oh my God, 1,312 feet per second, and I think I see the spike. Oh shit, look at that impression, it tumbled hard. Look at that. Woo, that is crazy, look at that. It almost will sit in that target. I'm glad it's 25 yards and not up close to me. I might have caught that one. 833. 833 feet per second with something that you can spit out of a printer. Interesting. Right hand side target and firing. 1,118 feet per second. No idea where we went. gonna shoot all of these and firing directly in front of the target there no tragedy why won't this thing stay leak free Damn! Running it anyways. It is what it is. I don't think that this is too much to ask of this rifle because AEA has already given me the go ahead to dry fire it in the past, which means that the light weight of the projectile should not affect the performance. Let's continue to shoot this thing. And firing. That was so close to that camera. <laughs> Dude, did I hit that thing? 1,097, please don't tell me I hit my camera. It was right next to it, I think. Oh, it was right here, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was close, though. That's why I said those things are going to where they want, dude. Yeah, there's no stability for this. Yep. But it's pretty good. All the way down to the yellow region of the pressure gauge already, boys. I definitely know that we've developed a leak in this thing, and it is and it is getting through the air charge more quickly than normal. I still want to give you guys the best episode possible though, so I'm still gonna shoot it. And if I ring. Low, way low. It's gonna leak anyways, so we're just gonna use it. And if I ring. No idea. Leaking worse now. Firing. I think we're skipping off the ground and hitting oh, it. Absolutely. Yeah. You hit the front. Two more spikes to go. 995 last shot. Raising aim. Oh, we hit that time. 967. Look at that. Hey, maybe they're accurate at lower speed. Last round out of these 3D printed projectiles that I currently own. Nope. 
no idea once again 944 feet per second i think if we've learned one thing about 3d printed ammunition is that in theory it's a great idea but definitely in practice it looks like it needs just a little bit more refinement before it's able to be a viable option for air gunners at the range as you can see i had absolutely terrible accuracy but the fps couldn't be overlooked i think that if there was a little bit more work done as far as the r d on the nominal sizing as well as maybe just a little bit more weight by way of maybe a, a solid core or something along those lines i'm not the best guy as far as you know theorizing 3d printing techniques but i definitely think that this idea has promise even if today didn't go as we expected i do know in the ammo shortage of these post-pandemic times that we all live in the idea of not being able to purchase something but being able to print something is an idea that just can't be overlooked i think it's gonna be a great place to go ahead and end today's episode guys but if you like today's episode give it a thumbs up you want to see more content like this make sure you subscribe for more with that notifications button so that you can stay current on the channel as well as when new videos come out if you really like this video make sure you share it so that somebody else can see it and i'll catch you boys in the next one